Lunar Moon Hair, A Magical Journey with the Goddess. Lamas. Once upon a soft summer night, the sweet hair moon is shining in a happy hair's eye. This is now, and this was then, and this is Lunar Moon Hair. She has dreamed through many gentle bee droning days since taking charge of the oak crown. She has danced through cricket singing nights above, below and beyond and on towards the mother moon of late summer. The fields are now heavy with ripening crops. In the meadows, the long grass has been cut and left to dry in the sunshine filled days its sweet fragrance filling the still air. She feeds on the new growth pushing up through the stubble and from time to time lies down to rest behind the protective hay. And so the blissful days pass in a soft butterfly dance. Life is sweet. A fly settles on her ear. She twitches it off and drowsily opens her eyes. In the shimmering heat, she sees a stag and a doe standing a little way off. The stag is proud and powerful. His antlers branch up into the blue sky. The motherly doe gently approaches Luna and nuzzles her with her velvety nose. Luna is not sure what she wants. The deer nudges Luna again and turns to look at the stag. He purposely walks towards the gateway in the field. He looks back at Luna and she realises that he wants her to follow. Slowly, Luna hops after the stag. She looks to the doe for reassurance and again she gently nudges her on and then follows behind Luna. The little procession wends its way across the meadow through an opening in the hedge and into the adjoining field. In here, the wheat is tall and golden. The stag leads on into the abundant crop. Her deer companions just see over the top of the ripe grain, but Luna is immersed in a golden world and must trust and follow. Distance, direction and time melt into the hypnotic pattern of vertical wheat stems and vertical deer legs. Mesmerised, she follows on and on. Dizziness plays with her head and her grainy world starts to spin, slowly at first and then faster and faster, swirling, speeding, rushing, roaring, feather light, her paws no longer touch the ground. Long legs flailing as over and over she rolls. Up she goes, up skywards, twisting and turning. Oh no, the crown, the crown. It is gone, swept away in the air, spinning around, dust-filled eyes stinging, roaring, wind-filled ears deafened. Help me please, Luna cries out. Instantly, all is still. Mellow yellow softness envelops her. A calmness comes over her and in that silence, she has a strange feeling that she's been here before. The stillness of her deja vu is quickly replaced by panic. She braces herself expecting to crash to the ground a moment passes, no pain. Her senses begin to settle back into her body. She is not falling. She opens her dust encrusted eyes and peers up into the loving eyes of a mother. Luna realizes she is being cradled in her nurturing arms. Do not fear, her golden voice soothes Luna. I am Kerr mother of the grain. Your journey has brought you here to Lamas. This is the time of the abundance of the first harvest. 
Look at my land, little one. My golden cloak is the ripening grain. Luna looks down from her sublime resting place to the world below. She had not realised how high she was. She looks down as though from the top of a mountain and sees Kerr's cloak of crops covering the land. Suddenly, Luna's blissful state is shattered as she remembers the crown, the Oak King's crown. She must find it. Before she can do anything, Kerr gently points to a field in the distance and begins to sink slowly, very slowly down into the land. As Luna gets closer, still held in Kerr's arms, she can see the field that the deer had let her into. And now a beautiful crop circle is marked out in the wheat. Closer still, and Luna can see, there in the very center of the circle is the crown. The gentle arms that held her open, Luna leaps from to the ground runs to the crown and wriggles into it again. She turns back to thank her, but all she can see are fields of ripening crops. A breeze plays through the corn and Luna hears a golden voice. I am the abundant harvest. I am your nurturing mother and the wheel turns. In the summer afternoon haze, the harvest mother rises up again from the land. She stretches out her arm and it makes a path to forever. This is the magical way as you carry the crown through night and day. The season's song will shift and change. All elements will rearrange. My path is neither short nor long. But how can you measure the tune of a song? Dance the path in step with your heart. And by the end, you'll be ready to start.